Hello again team, it's Jess or Jessica in and welcome back for another video. Today we are setting up for January 2022 in my best friend's bullet journal. This is a journal that I'm making for her, so I've had a conversation with her, we've picked out all the themes that she wants for all of the months, and her theme choice for January was Alice in Wonderland. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever done a spread quite as elaborate as our cover page today, so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off by talking about timing, from first touch of the pen to final erasings, this cover page took me about 3 hours and 6 minutes. But as always, that time doesn't include sketching in time, so it actually took a fair bit longer. I'm not going to say that the time spent wasn't worth it, because I do think it turned out really well, but I don't think I'm going to be doing anything quite as elaborate again anytime soon. This spread is actually a recreation of a May 2018 cover page by Julia over on Instagram. Her design work in this was super impressive, and I caught Rachel looking at it when we were discussing the idea of having an Alice in Wonderland theme, so I thought it would be a fun surprise to recreate it for her here. As said, this is a recreation, so not so much taking inspiration from it, but more effectively trying to copy it. I did change a couple of things, for instance the face on our Cheshire Cat, because I wanted it to look a little bit more like the Alice in Wonderland movie from Disney. I slightly changed the design of the teapot, and also the black background at the top edge, but other than that, this is pretty much exactly the same as Julia's. As always, I do like to give credit to the original creators for any spreads that I take inspiration from or recreate in my journal. And I also thought it was important to highlight the difference between being inspired by and recreating the work of. As you can see from Julia's original post, this is very much a recreation, so it's the same spread again, effectively. Taking inspiration from would be using the same kind of style, or maybe the same kind of elements, but still having it be very much my own. Jargon aside though, you can probably tell why this spread took so long to draw out. Actually, what happened when I was penciling it in is that I managed to pencil it in like three spreads too far into the journal. Considering Rachel and I are aiming for this journal to be a 12 month journal, that didn't really bode so well, because pretty much every page in this journal is accounted for. Because I didn't want to have to redraw the design again, before I came in to film the setup, what I did was cut out the penciled in pages and attach them into the correct space in the journal just using some washi tape. Not super ideal, but do make sure that if you're doing a spread, whether it be in pencil or in pen, make sure you have it in the right place in your journal before you commit to that pencil or pen. Technically speaking, mine was in pencil, I could have just erased it and drawn it in the correct place, but I did not want to have to draw all of this out again. As you can likely tell, this footage is quite a lot sped up, we're thinking somewhere in the realm of like 60 to 70 times regular speed. I felt that it wasn't really super necessary to have a video be over 3 hours for a monthly setup, but thankfully, given the power of editing, we can watch the time-lapsed version. If you guys did want to see a slower version of this, whether that be real-time speed, so a 3 hour video, or something closer to maybe 10 times speed, so more like an 18 minute video, just let me know, I'm sure I can make one for you. Probably not so much with talking, like we do in our regular plan with me's, but maybe with just some background music. After the three and a bit hours were up though, it was time to flip on over to the monthly log. The style of this monthly log is something that Rachel and I discussed together, so it has a mini calendar layout at the top, where each of the calendar boxes are three squares across and three squares down, and then in the bottom section of that left hand page, we have a more vertical style monthly log. So with two columns of dates, 1 to 16 in one of the columns, and 17 to 31 in the other. The page on the right is going to be a space for Rachel to write out her monthly to-do list, or a place to take down any notes, or things like that. On this page you can see the washi tape that I used to attach the cover page on the other side. I thought this one was fitting for the Alice in Wonderland theme, just given the little teapots and teacups, kinda to relate to the Mad Hatter's tea party. In terms of other decoration, around the calendar I also included some little suits from cards, so hearts, diamonds, spades and clubs, just to relate to the Queen of Hearts cards. And in the corners of the notes page, I also brought in some elements similar to what we had on the cover page, just to make them tie together nicely. In terms of timing, from first touch of the pen to final erasings, this monthly log spread took about 27 minutes, so certainly much less time than the cover page, 
but their time was increased by doing the decorative elements that we described before. Over the page and onto the next spread, on this one we're also going to be using that Time for Tea washi tape. Although this isn't to secure any pages into the journal, I just wanted to use it on each of the weekly logs that I'm setting up, just so the washi tape didn't look out of place on the monthly log. Having the repeated element on each of those pages just better makes it look like it belongs. For all of the weekly logs in this journal, Rachel and I decided to use the same style, of having a space for each day of the week on the left hand side, in a horizontal format, and then the page on the right is a space for any weekly notes or to-dos. I didn't get super decorative in these weeklies, just because I spent so much time decorating the cover page, and also a bit of time decorating the monthly log, that I thought it would be okay to just have some simple weeklies. Each of the individual weekly spreads for January took about 5 minutes to set up, including the time taken to put in the washi tape, rule in the lines, and put in the headers. Question of the day for you guys, what is the longest amount of time that you've ever taken to set up either a spread or a page in your journal? As I said, the 3 hours and 6 minutes that I spent on today's cover page is the longest for me, but I'd be interested to know what your longest amount of time was. For the final flip through though, we have our decorative cover page for January, being that recreation of Julia's spread. We have the combo monthly log featuring a mini calendar and the vertical section, along with a space for notes. And then we have the weekly logs which have the horizontal style spaces for the days of the week on the left hand side, and also another space for notes and to-dos on the right. Although I won't be the one using this bullet journal setup, I am super chuffed with how it turned out, and I hope Rachel likes it too. A big thank you to Julia for allowing me to recreate that cover page, and as always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you hadn't already and felt so inclined, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!